This is ASP Internet Core MVC Learn and Practice Today in this lesson, we will learn how to get the value from upsetting the sun file. Okay, let's get started. Let me open Visual Studio. In previous lesson, we know how to handle the sending email methods in the NMTP handling class. And today, when you take a look into this send email method, you see that we have some the value is hard coded here. So now, if this are hard coded into this class, we will do some configuration in the app setting not the sun file. So now, let's go ahead to create some the key and value inside the app setting the sun. Back to the LMTP handling club, we have the LMTP connect, authenticate, LMTP address, okay. It will be LMTP address. Contact, contact, from contact, and name and email, okay. And you see here, if we have to declare some the key and value inside the application setting not JSON file. And then let me copy this one. The next step, I will go ahead to create a class file, which will be handle some the key and values inside the application setting. I go to the solution explorer and analyst of their services folder. I right click on this. Add and click on collab option. I will create a new class. We will be called it the configuration. And in this class, let me delete this one because I want to change the class name. Public. I will have the public class. LMTP. LMTP config. I will paste something here, copy from the app setting, public string. So here we have the create a NMTP configuration class, which contains some property. And then open the startup.cs file in the solution e browser. You scroll it down in the configure services. Let me add more the registration services method here. We have service, those configure. I will have the service, those NMTP configuration. configuration and the next step go to the NMTP handling go to the top here I will replace some of the hard code that here read away I will add some of the namespace here using VA those service Plus, I will have the NMTP configuration. It will be the NMTP configuration underscore. And then I will declare a constructor for NMTP handling class. I will have public. It will be the for this one, I will use the 
I option interface. This option interface will be belong to the Microsoft extension option. NMTP configuration. And here I will have the NMTP equal the NMTP. Uh, this one will be really. And then I will go ahead to replace some hard coded here. Copy the. It will be the. NMTP address address of wrong name. Let me come back. Address and open the app config address. This one is from a password. Not password. Uh, Username at work. and uh, mail map from address one type from address from name put name from address. It will be the email setting. And so now let me try to build the solution first. Before we are running, so I have to back to the app setting. And then I will provide the real password for the RMTP server. Let me come back to the Home controller. And then we have a warning message in red here. And over to this one, we have a warning message in the red color. It says that there is no agreements given that corresponding. So back to the NMTP handling. And you see here in the contractor, we have a one parameter. That means in the home controller, we have provide one contractor in the home controller here to handle the RMTP handling class. Firstly, I will add the namespace using the VA for service. And then in the home controller, it is a, it is a new instance here. So I will use the RMTP. RMTP handling. It will be the RMTP handling. I will have replace the this one by this parameter. Okay. So now let me try to run the project. And you got this message. So unable to resolve services for Thai. Let's close this one and come back to the start. Look, see that far. Scroll down to the configuration services. Because in the home controller, we have not changed the way to get the data from the NMTP handling. So we use the dependency injection. That means in the startup, not yet file, we have to register a uh, the service method here, I will have service dot um, add singleton. Singleton here, it will have the NMTP. It will have the service dot NMTP handling and service dot NMTP handling.
let me try to run this again. Go to the contact form. I will try to enter some data here. And you got the thank you message. Let me open the Gmail for checking. You see that we have a new contact. Submit data. One chain rule. So that means for now we have just done to do some con configuration for the MTP and also the contact information. In this of hard coding the value inside NMTP handling club. For now, we are able to uh, do some configuration and getting the data from accepting dot JSON file. We know how to use the dependency injection to inject the data from the other class in the project. So let's finish this lesson and we will come back to learn other lessons in the next time. Bye bye.